Ryan McCaffrey and Sam Claiborne here with uh, the most expensive pinball machine in the world, Sam? Yeah, maybe in this office for sure. <laughs> this one has a pretty high price tag. $12,500 yeah, worth of pinball machine. It was so nice of uh, Jersey Jack to lend us this so we can make this cool video and show you why it could cost that much. So take me through what makes this thing special. Sure, so already this is a really cool modern contemporary game with a lot of high tech stuff. And this version of it, the collector's edition, only 500 of them out there, has, has some extras to it. So I'll go through those and then kind of generally talk about the cool stuff. Yeah. Game. So back here we have this great golden elevator toy. The balls go up in there, lock, and then uh, it's kind of like the couch in the Simpsons pinball machine if you've ever played that, and then it, it lets them out. But that's not in any other version of this game, uh, or at least the standard model of the game, which is really cool. Uh, there's some other cool toys in here. There's a, two screens. I'll talk about this one in a bit. Yeah. But this smaller screen here is used to give you game rules and stuff like that, like on the fly, so you don't have to look up as high maybe. But also, this Oompa Loompa camera here takes your picture and, and fashions <laughs> into the game in several ways and it can appear on the screens, which is really cute. Um, you'll notice too, a prominent placement of the uh, gob stopper. This is a rotating ball lock and it starts spinning like crazy and you have a cool matching shooter rod here as well. That's one of my favorite parts. Isn't that thing. great? It's so great. It's just, Im you immediately see that when you walk up to the machine. Yes, so uh, a lot of things you're gonna be shooting in this game are ramps. We love ramps in modern pinball machines and uh, these are special in this game and so and you can see that they match the side armor. Like there's this great uh, custom uh, a ruby red uh, kind of tint to everything, every piece of metal in the game, and that's exclusive to this uh, collector's edition, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, the play field itself, the actual piece of wood that you're playing the game on, completely unique to this game. It has inlaid sparkles. So cool. I'm so into it. I mean, it's 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 an aesthetic. It may not be mine, but it looks super cool in this game. And the game, of course, has full rainbow LED lighting that just kind of. It sparkles too, so it's a very sparkly game. That's what I, when, when you play it, it now that you tell me it's twelve thousand five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. it it makes sense. Like I just had, didn't even think about the price mm -hmm. when we when you, you just walk up to it, but it's the most colorful pinball game I've ever played in my life. I agree, and, and then there's like a large amount of customization that goes into making this different from its brothers and sister games, uh, which is really cool. And there's a few other aesthetic things. There's inlaid art here uh, inside the, the sides of the pinball machine. I mean, people in an arcade are not gonna notice that, right? So it's mainly home use only, people yeah. buying this to keep in their house, and there's special stuff like that. And uh, right above the game is a, its own topper, which is really neat. Lights up, it actually interacts with the game with lights. And then finally, this screen, 27 inches of HD monitor. It's bigger than my PC monitor at home. It looks really nice, <laughs> and it has a, a good graphics package to it. But it also has movie clips. So this is like the full Gene Wilder, awesome Willy Wonka so movie with all the kids and everything. And so much of the game's integration it, 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 with that theme is clever. It's like, you know, every single, single multi-ball is uh, tied to a scene in the movie and every single you know rule set is is is, is really uh, is really fashioned to work with the movie clips playing. It's really clever. Well, and all the little voice clips that play mm -hmm. are all cool contextual things related mm -hmm. to what you're doing, right? Yep. Exactly. A couple examples of those. Yeah, and then there's some random guy that says shoot the jackpot like in every game, but you know it's mainly real actors doing real good work. Um, I think that's all I have to talk about of this amazing, cool, high-end machine. Plus the signatures of the creators well, right yeah, there on that place. That's, that's cool. It's an honor. Jersey Jack and team, I think, hit it out of the park with this one. Yeah, this is just a phenomenal pinball machine. I'm so grateful to have gotten to play it. Uh, so if you need the ultimate gift for mm -hmm. someone in your life uh, that loves pinball, just, uh, track down one of these 500 collector's edition Jersey Jack, Jersey oh. Jack Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And you can, of course, save a pocket full of quarters and just take your favorite person on a date to go play this at an arcade. Maybe not this one, <laughs> but one like it. Excellent. Thank play you, pinball. Sam. Uh, for more on all things pinball, all things gaming, you're already in the right place right here at IGN.